Hi Nesters, it's Dawn here and I'm going to walk you through my process of making a card using this really cute stamp set I got from Unity. I started out with some Stampin' Up! markers that I used to color in the glasses on this stamp. I used an orange color and then two different shades of brown. What I'm going to end up doing is that second pair of glasses, I'm going to die cut them out and then emboss them on the inside of the card so there'll be a little window to see through, but I went ahead and colored them in just to have that placeholder when I'm going through initially and, and cutting everything out. So I went through and I colored first with that orange. Now I'm using the lighter of the brown colors, and then I'll finish up the bottom pair of glasses with that darker shade of brown. I'm going to go ahead and just stamp these onto a piece of um, white cardstock. I think that this is Stampin' Up! cardstock, um, but it's just a nice flat white cardstock. I went ahead there when you saw the stamp off um, the camera, I was just blowing on it to reactivate the ink, and there you can see it's stamped. I took an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, cut it vertically, and then scored it at 5 and a quarter, so it would be um, a top opening card. Then I'm going to take a sh little piece of pattern paper, this is from a 6x6 six six pad, and I'm trimming it out. I've got this set of nesting rectangle dies from Lifestyle Crafts and I'm using one of the larger ones to cut this rectangle and it's going to go on the front of the card. There I'm holding, um, holding the die in place with some washi tape. You'll see me pull out that washi tape multiple times in this video. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use a smaller rectangle die and cut out the glasses and then there you can see that and it's going to go right there in the middle of the front of the card. Then I'm going to cut a thin border from this wood grain pattern paper. So once again, you can see I've got the tape there holding those two dies in place. And I'm going to use that as my border. Now, this is not on camera, but I went ahead and I adhered down the orange pattern paper and that brown pattern paper frame. The white paper with the glasses right now is just laying there in place. I went ahead and I took my small die, taped it in place, and I'm going to cut out that one pair of glasses. I went through twice with my Big Shot and it still wasn't enough to cut it, so I had to go through one more time to get that rectangle cut out. Now I'm taking that same wood grain pattern paper, cutting another rectangle from it, and this is going to go on the inside of the card. I'm going to go ahead and emboss this pair of glasses and the sentiment on this wood grain pattern paper. I'm using that washi tape one more time to mask off the part of the stamp that I do not want to get my Versamark on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some, um, I'm going to stamp it down, and then I'm going to use white embossing powder on this one and you'll see that in just a second. And there you can see the glass is stamped. I forgot to run my powder tool over the, the card the first time, so you can see a little bit of the powder got stuck there, but I was able just to brush it off with my fingers before I used um, the heat gun on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here with the sentiment. I used the Versamark one more time, and I'll go ahead and stamp that down, and then once again I'll cover this with the white embossing powder. And you can see once again, even though I used the tool a little bit got stuck, just brush it off with my finger and it's not a big deal. In the camera you can't quite see um, the change as it becomes embossed, but it just becomes a nice, bright, um, shiny white once that heat tool gets applied to it. And I just thought this was the cutest little stamp set, talk nerdy to me. So there you can see it is done. I'm adhering it into the inside of the card, and there you can see how the cutout shows that pair of glasses, and then you open it up, and there's the sentiment. Felt like it needed just a little bit extra, so I went ahead and took some baker's twine, wrapped it around the top of the card a few times, and here you can see I'm cutting it off, and the card is finished. This is a nice, quick, easy card. Um, even with interruptions from my kids, this probably only took about 20 minutes. 
So I hope you enjoy, and I will be back next week on Craft Your Nest. Bye.